Hello, Redemption Tempe. My name is Will Bakurvich, one of the pastors here, and I'm really thankful to be able to reintroduce us to our Tempe 10 program. Tempe 10 is a program that we started a few years ago under the basic idea that for most of us, we understand that just $10 giving to an organization probably won't make that big of an impact, but collectively we're better together. And so once a month, we ask our congregation to, to give up either a few Starbucks drinks a month or just going out to lunch once a month and give those $10 collectively to a local organization who is serving uh, our community well. So this month, I'm really excited to introduce you guys to Ruth Ann and to the Ark of Tempe. So can you share a little bit about the Ark of Tempe and its history? Absolutely. So we have been in Tempe for over 50 years, and historically we've served adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. This past year, we've added a 16 and up group to our events and to our program, which is really exciting for us. And we support the IDD community in Tempe and the surrounding areas. Awesome. Can you share a little bit more about, um, about the community and about the ways that you support folks in that community? Absolutely. So with COVID, mm -hmm. everything has changed. Yes. We generally have been in the community uh, with our members teaching our community, not just our members, but our community. Mm -hmm. We've been teaching them how to interact with those with special needs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we like to call them differently abled. I think the special needs term is, ah, it's just a little, it's a little archaic. And, sure. and uh, I think that everybody has abilities mm -hmm. and everybody has special abilities. So with COVID, we've been doing a lot of Zoom, like everybody else yes. in the world has been doing Zoom. And so we have added, we've had a, just a, a great variety of programs. So we have the Healthy Arc that we do exercise and we do Arc for Others, which we teach volunteerism. And we, we have been doing crafts and learning and social skills classes, just a variety of programs that we're offering online right now. Awesome. So I know it, um, in this type of work, there can be those, those hard days, mm -hmm. and it's really helpful to keep those memories that kind of keep you going, that keep you motivated, those, those highlights or those really awesome stories. Could you share one of those with us so we could get a little glimpse into the work that you do? Absolutely. I think part of my focus and my team's focus is inclusion, mm -hmm. and we really pride ourselves in the learning moments and the education moments of our community. And there was a time where we were in the community with uh, some, some of our members and some of our staff and there was a miscommunication uh, between a restaurant and one of our members. And so it was a very exciting opportunity for us to educate the, the restaurant and the staff on our community. And some would see that that was not a great situation that we were in, yeah. but we took it as a learning opportunity. How can we share our members mm -hmm. with the community? How can we teach the community about our members? Yeah. And, and what inclusion really means. Yeah. So. That's great, that's great. Very blessed. What, uh, what, have, what has the community taught you? Well, I have a personal story. So my parents both, have intellectual and developmental disabilities. And so I'm the only child of, of a couple mm -hmm. that had special abilities. Mm -hmm. And my dad is still with me. Mm -hmm. And so I have a very strong connection to our community and just the community's ability. I mean, back when my parents had me, it was pretty much unheard of that right. two people with different abilities would have a child. And I think there's a misconception uh, that two people can't, and uh, I think there's a misconception that people with IDD can't hold jobs, can't take care of themselves, can't live independently, and we're here to share and our, educate our community and also educate our members. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can do anything. The, the sky's the limit. Yes. So believe yes. in yourself and your abilities, and with a little support from the Ark of Tempe and our community, Anything can happen. That's incredible. Uh, I appreciate your vulnerability and, and sharing personal stories. I thank you so much for the great work that you're doing you. in our community, not just serving you know, this population, but helping us as a city 
um, love one another better and, and see one another more clearly. I think that's really important work. So we're really thankful for the work that you guys do. Thank you. Thank you. So Redemption Tempe, now we have the opportunity to, to give, to partner with what we see um, as really, really good work inside our community in which God is moving um, in all different ways. So the link will pop up on the screen. You guys can text uh, your info in and, and you can give to this month's Tempe 10. Thanks, guys.